Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. How are you today? I hope your day's going amazing. Guess what? You're just in time. For what? We're going to talk about the banner section element that comes with the Jack Oliver theme today. But you know what? This is going to be a little lengthy video. Not too bad, but I know if you're anything like me, you know, you start to get hungry after a while. So, you know what? I'll give you a chance. Pause this video, go get your snack, come right back. All right, let's go. Here we go. This is the banner section element we're going to talk about today. And what this is used for is displaying your blog post on a page. And then with that, you're able to have an optional sidebar that displays a newsletter section. This is where people will opt in to your email list. And also below that, you can display your recent blog post you have done. And if you listen to what I just said, it was blog posts that you have done. Yes, you got to do all the content for your blogs. This time you have the hard part. For me, I have the easy part. I'm going to show you this fun element. The blog section element. Blog section element. Sorry about that. Um, again, it was... It's been a long day, but I want to show you, I'm going to take you over to my computer screen and I'm going to show you one that's already, I have already set up. And then we're going to go back into WordPress and as we usually do, we're going to start from the beginning and I'm going to show you how to configure all this stuff. But first, I would just want to talk about few, a few things so we see where we're going to, right? So hopefully that this will make sense to you as I'm trying to explain how to use the control a little later on. So on this page, you can see, you just scrolling down the page, these are the blog posts I have recently done, and I have just three of them on here right now. And then over on the right, this is the sidebar that I have shown. And like I said before, you can have this page show, show with the sidebar or not. But on the sidebar, you, you can add a newsletter section. This is where people opt into your email list. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do all that. And then below that, if you have any Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter pages, you can add those links and then they will show up here. So people on this page can go right to your social sites. And then just down below those are the, you can display, have it display your most recent blogs that, like I said before, you have written. <laughs> this, this little element, it just basically creates this page, brings all your blogs together. So this is no content today. This is just setting up. So this is the element that we're just talking, we're talking about right here, blog section. So we'll start right from the beginning. We're gonna delete, hit okay. And we're gonna click on the add button. I like to come up and click on modern themes. All I'm doing right now is just filtering out all the other elements that I, I don't really need right now. So down here at the very bottom are elements called block section. And that's the one we're going to talk about today. Yeah, you and me. So you wrote those blog posts, you're ready to display them. So let's go. So this element has five sections to it, right? So we have the general section. So this will this controls how many blogs you want to see on of your blogs you want to see on this page and whether you want to show the sidebar to the right yes or no and then we're going to you know we'll go through all these we're going to talk about the newsletter section like i said before this is what people opt into your email list so that's going to we're going to have to integrate your autoresponder to that and we're going to do get response today this the social media section this is where you're going to just add your URL so the little social media icons appear below the newsletter section. And if you want to display your recent blog post, those get displayed in that sidebar as well. This section, obviously, this will, we're going to set up our autoresponder integration. So without any further ado, let's go. Number of posts to show. How many do you want? Five? Good. Perfect number. So now what this is doing, all I'm going to do is tell it, I just want to display five of my blog posts on this page. Okay. 
And I do want a sidebar, so we're gonna leave this selected yes. And what we do, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go through and completely build a page up, and we'll just take and not show some of these options just to show you like what it looks like changing. It's not too difficult. So newsletter, yes, we want the newsletter section so that you know we want people to opt in, right? So you if you want people to opt in, you gotta type something like get instance access to my free book on setting goals. How's that? Okay. If you are not setting goals, this book is for you. And the submit button, just whatever you want the text to say on the button. So I like submit. And we're going to move over to the next section here. Like I was saying, this is where we're going to set your social media tag. So if you do not want this to show, you can just select no. And you don't need to have a social media site like you see here, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you don't have an Instagram, you're just going to leave this field blank and it won't show up on the page. Or if you just don't even want to have your Instagram account on your page. So I'm just going to grab, sorry, I'm looking over here because I can't remember my YouTube link. And I just want to grab this for you. Right here, here's Facebook, sorry. And I'm going to grab my YouTube link right here. So when we save this, you're going to see that only the Facebook and my YouTube social media icons will appear there. All right. So recent posts, do I want to display those? Yes. Then how many of your recent posts? We'll just do three. How's that? And here's the autoresponder integration. So today I'm going to be integrating into GetResponse. And what you need to do that for any autoresponder, you need to um, put the API key in and the list token value. So to get those, you have to actually go over to your autoresponder to find those. In my case, I have to go over to get response so that I can fill these values in. And if you don't know how to find them in get response, I already have a video done for that. And it's a very short, quick video. So I will definitely include a link below. So to get your API key for in get response, you have to go under your account settings and it's use, oops, no. It's usually this. And then your list token is under your settings section. And that's usually like a four or five character section. So that's about what they'll look like. So that's it. We're gonna just hit save. Everything is everything is done. Complete. So then what we can do now, come over here, preview changes. So you can see we're displaying, what do we say, five? Yep, so we said five blogs. So there's your five blogs we're displaying. Now we're gonna move up here in the social media tags underneath each of these blog sections. Those are for your sharing tags, okay? Those aren't gonna bring them to your page. We're gonna to get to that over in the sidebar here in a couple seconds. So if you, this is the newsletter section. We talked about that, this is where they enter their email address I mean yeah enter their email and name so they can opt into your list and underneath there we have like there's my Facebook and YouTube social tags so you can click on that and it will bring you like as you see it will bring you over to your YouTube page in this case All right and then we can come down and there's the recent blog post I did so if you click on that it will bring you to the, the actual blog post itself. So that's, like I said, we have that all here. Oh, sorry, here you go. Let me just talk a little bit about what we've done. So that's it. We have it all set up, okay? So it's basically, as you can see, it's not writing content. It's filling out 
Oh, just a couple settings so that it allows us to display the blogs that you have written. Now, for instance, we can we can configure that page a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back to my computer a second and screen, and we are gonna go in and edit this. So <laughs> page, sorry. If you don't, if you just want your blog post to show and you don't want that sidebar for whatever reason, all you have to do is say no. And then what I can show you, this is what it looks like. So this is nice when you can make a little change and see it. So as you can see, there's no sidebar over here to the right. It's just your blog post. All right. And then we can go back in. I'm not going to do this everywhere because it's it's pretty versatile. But I, I chose five here. If you want to display 10 blog posts, right, we can do that. So if you want to display more blog posts, we can do that. And oops, I gotta say, yeah, I did. And the newsletter section. So if you still want the sidebar, but you only want your uh, recent post to show up, you can just say, I don't, I want the sidebar, but I don't want the newsletter. So we'll go and do that. So the two changes I made, I added more blog posts to the page. So there's two, I'm not gonna, three. So you can see there's more added. And when we come up to the top, Oh, I didn't say yes. I want to show the, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I was just testing you. Nobody said anything. So I see the reason why I still said no to the sidebar. So we'll just select yes, save changes. See, that's why you can make these little changes and you don't have to go too far. Now, here we go. Here's the sidebar. So we have our social media tags and our most recent blog post down there. So if you don't want your social media tags to come up, you just leave those fields empty that that section won't be there and if you just want the newsletter in the sidebar i can show you we'll here we'll do that and then that will be the last i promise <laughs> i told you this was going to be a long video so we're going to go in the newsletter and we're going to switch this back to yes okay so that's going to allow the newsletter section to appear in the sidebar um we'll leave our social media tags but for some reason, now you don't want your recent blog post to show. You just change that to no. You don't have to change this value or anything. It, it's going to be all right. You can just leave it. And then let's say show changes. Now what do we have? So we have our posts like before. And then in our sidebar, we just have our newsletter section with our social media um, links. Isn't that great? So that's it. That's all there is to it to set up your blog page. It's creating those blog posts that are going to be a challenge. But once again, I want to thank you and I'm grateful for you watching this video. If you have any questions on the blog section element that we just talked about in the Jack Oliver theme or WordPress or eStage, write them below. And like I said, I have other links for other videos in you know included in here as well that will that may help you. Again, thank you.